Okay. Low altitude surprise attack operation. Low altitude surprise attack operation. I think I said it better. We have received information that the enemy is assembling their air power in preparation for a counterattack on our invasion forces. We must attack them while they are getting ready to make their sortie, which is right now. We will fly at a low altitude below 600 feet in order to avoid radar detection. We will make a surprise attack on the enemy before they have a chance to counterattack. Target, the enemy garrison. It is difficult to maintain low altitude flight, but we must not be detected by the enemy's radar in order to avoid any possible resistance. I wonder if... Take a good look at the lay of the land and proceed with... I wonder if I can get around that by taking the YF-23 since it's a stealth craft. <laughs> I'm gonna do that! That's a na nasty looking piece of work. Look at that thing, that is awesome. So I guess I gotta kind of stay under these uh, mesas, which, fine. At least I've got plenty of room to uh, maneuver. And some of the mesas are not too high. Oh, stuff it, I'm supposed to be flying low altitude. Thanks for the host, peeps. That was awesome of you. Did you finally beat Pugsley's uh, scavenger hunt yet? <laughs> missions in out of 20 um, on Ace Combat 2 so you know that'll be two down and like eight or nine games to go <laughs> trying to play through all the Ace Combat games before Ace Combat 7 releases Okay, now I can increase my altitude. Good. Oh, that's actually pretty cool background there for PS1. Come on. Dang it. Try to get those before they leave the ground. Oh, okay. So you're playing a different kind of AC. Yeah, that that's nasty. Like like I said the other night, I my hat's off to you. In fact, you know what? My hat's off to you. I could not do that. I do not have the patience. <laughs> I 
And, uh, you know, I, I prefer playing games that I thoroughly enjoy, and I do not enjoy struggling that much. take out some of these planes that are in the air. But the ones on the ground are safer. Whoops. There we go. Alright, now let's go after the ones in the air. <laughs> and I am a patient person, too. Like... Don't get me wrong, I just... I think I might also think about it a little bit differently if I had a quest like you do. Where, you know, you are trying to finish all of the, uh, the Super Nintendo games. I'm trying to finish all the Ace Combat games. Um, you know, that kind of thing. But, uh... I think I would not even have embarked on that quest, <laughs> knowing that it would entail stuff like that. I very much enjoyed watching you, though, because um, I was a Genesis owner back in the 16-bit era, so kind of... Getting exposed to all these Super Nintendo games is fantastic. Because I have a, I've got the Retro Trio and I don't know what to get for it. Super Nintendo wise. So I'm looking forward to watching more and uh, maybe finding games that I want to play and own myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> I I do also think that it's uh, really awesome that uh, your you know significant other there. I, I'm, I'm not going to presume her relation right offhand, but uh, that that she's like into it too to the point where she's not only watching but she's helping you with overlays and costumes and stuff like that. That's awesome. <laughs> Come on, get on. There we go. <laughs> I I enjoy the hunt um, of trying to find the cartridges. Um, so like, there's a uh, used game store. I'm gonna say near, but it's like a two-hour drive. But I go there once every week or two. And they've got a TurboGrafx-16 EverDrive in stock. Cheaper than some Ever some uh, TurboGrafx-16 games I've seen. But I'm, like, hesitant to purchase it because I want to try to stay on the straight and narrow as much as possible. <laughs> That's my own infliction. Oh, okay, cool. Well, you both followed me the other day, so I've got uh, her Twitch name handy. I'll have to go follow her, follow her back. Does she still stream? Yeah, I just got a TG16 a month or two ago. Um, I've got six games so far. Um... But I'm not col trying to collect everything. I'm just grabbing some games that look interesting. Oh man, I gotta land again. So there's like maybe eight more games that I would like to get for the Turbo Graphics. I've already got some really neat ones though. Whoa. I didn't realize how close to the ground I was. 
Come on. It landed perfectly last time. There we go. Yeah, see that? That's that's the thing. Oh, nice! Um, but yeah, there's like 15 used game stores counting um, counting half-price books within about a two-hour drive of where I live. Uh, last night I was out in Madison. Um, found a copy of Robotron 2084 for the Atari 7800 at the same place that I found Shining the Holy Ark for the Sega Saturn a couple weeks ago. And uh, they also had a copy of Sega CD for uh, that uh, Fortifier had been looking for. And he's like, yeah, um, you know, anywhere between 90 and 190 for a copy is fine. And I found it for 40. So... Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. I'll see what I've got laying around uh, as far as, like, duplicates. What um, what kind of stuff are you generally interested in? Just, like, Super Nintendo? Because I highly doubt I've got stuff that you don't have. <laughs> Fox Force 4. Okay. Um, whisper me the link so I can take a look at it later. And uh, I will also then add that to my list of things that I'm keeping an eye out for. So that uh, if I do find it, uh, put on, on that list, can you put prices that you'd be willing to pay? Um... Because then what I can do is if I see it, I can just buy it right away on the spot. And then you can just pay me back when I mail it to you. I've done this for quite a few people so far. And I get a kick out of doing it. <laughs> Plus when I buy it, I use my PlayStation Network card. So I, got, I get points toward PlayStation Network credits. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Rescue of the downed plane or attack on the ant particle lab. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, let's go with the attack. Sure. That'd be awesome. Thank you. I'm actually kind of looking forward to the uh, um, Polymega next year, too. I may actually sell off my TG-16 when that comes out and just get, you know, the TG-16 module for the Polymega. Yeah. Because, like, right now, I literally have 20 consoles. And most of them are hooked up right now. If I can consolidate most of those into one, I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. It's like 500 or something like that for the bundle. EP Lab Pancake. I've got the space. I'd just love to clean it up because, like... My brother-in-law visited last month, and he took a picture behind my TV because he looked back there and saw the, the like, rat's nest. <laughs> I've had to diagram how I've got this all hooked up right now. Okay, information. Let's see. Were there any named craft? There's the EP Lab Pancake. I don't know if that's the named craft enemy for this mission, or what? Eh, must be. Yeah, let's stick with the YF-23. Thing's nice. 
But also for um, older consoles, I tend to uh, emulate. I only emulate what I've got the cartridges and consoles for, but uh, Polymega will help with that too, because then I'd just be able to use an actual device. And it does the whole thing where uh, you can plug in your cartridge and it'll rip the cartridge and so you don't have to use the cartridge again thing, so looking forward to that. It'll give me access to the Sega CD, which will be nice. Yeah. Do you know of any of the other modules that they've got planned? Okay. Yeah. I've got the Game Boy Advance player for my GameCube, so I can, you know, stream that. I made some progress earlier tonight on uh, consolizing a Game Gear. I, I'm not a fan of fiddly um, soldering, but I'm going to see this through. I just don't think I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Famicom is a stretch goal. Well, I think also once once they actually go live and start selling the thing, they'll be able to uh, you know use that to fund more modules. I'd love to see them do Dreamcast at some point. I know they said that they weren't entirely sure they'd be able to do it, but... And I know they said they can do Saturn, which will be nice, but... Like, I'm, I'm thinking of selling my TG-16. I would not sell my Saturn, because that's been with me for a while. Oh, come on. Uh, the Mega SG. Oh, geez, really? That's hilarious. I found mine at a used game store that, that doesn't exist anymore. But it was like 30 bucks when I bought it. So far, the only problem I've had with it is uh, when I started getting everything set up again earlier this year um i had to replace the uh cr2032 cmos battery which <laughs> as problems go <laughs> i've never been a fan of that like i know people who get a kick out of it i just never really got into it I, I do love going to places like uh, Goodwill to see what I can find, but that's about as close to dumpster diving as I'll get. I am really damn excited for my, uh, my CD32, though. Oh, man. The guy who's selling it to me said he uh, mailed it out today. So I should have that within a week or two. And I've got the uh, expansion and riser cards on the way to basically turn it into a full-fledged Amiga 1200, so... <laughs> oh, okay, that makes, that makes sense. Where are those missiles coming from? I, I'm not able to target, like... A missile emplacement. There we go. Took one last second missile hit, but oh well. There's a uh, a used game store not too far away from UW-Milwaukee. 
and they tend to have some interesting stuff. So that's probably where where it goes for UW Milwaukee. And then I wouldn't be surprised if uh, one of the stores that I go to over in Madison tends to have really good stuff. And uh, so there's that's probably where UW Madison kids sell their stuff. First Lieutenant. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, no doubt. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, I, I, I was... I might be going down to Chicago tomorrow to uh, go used game hunting with a uh, fellow cartridge clubber. And... There really isn't much there, which is weird. There's like one specialized store, and then the rest is like half price books. Your last mission of Operation Bellissima is to break through the enemy um, unit and their C4. But like there's a, a store two hours north of here, just outside of Green Bay, that I, I got an Atari XEGS from there. We can do it. Enemy's defense unit. A fierce battle is anticipated, but when we manage to break through, they're hit. And if you ever decide to uh to go to uh uh gaming con, the the uh Midwest Gaming Gaming Classic is in Milwaukee every year. I just found out about it last year. I plan to go again next year. Any named enemies? Big bad ma'am! <laughs> okay. Take off. Do I get a wingman? Yes. Yes, I want support. Come along with me, Edge. Engage enemy aircraft. There are also pre some pretty good places over in the Twin Cities, and believe it or not, in Superior, Wisconsin. <laughs> Whoops. But the Twin Cities is where I managed to find the... Uh, um, PSP Ace Combat games, and then uh, I got the original Monster Rancher at a place in Superior, Wisconsin. Little town of 20,000 people, they've got like two or three used game stores. <laughs> actually playing Monster Rancher earlier tonight, too. <clears throat> oh, there are the B2s. Hold on. 
There we go. Um, yeah, actually, uh, with Monster Rancher, I'm doing a playthrough where I have all of the decisions run through Twitter polls. And uh, tonight um, was the first battle that I ran into, so I decided to have a uh, have that happen on Twitch. Completely bombed out, but I wasn't expecting much. There we go. I did actually pick up Monster Rancher 4, um, though I wanted to do the, you know, Monster Rancher playthrough, I wanted to do that with the original game, but uh, Monster Rancher 4, you use, you can use CDs or DVDs, and I, I have kind of a vivid memory of a friend of mine popping up porn DVD into his copy of Monster Rancher and it created a monster that it said was too strong for him to use. <laughs> it was like oh man, talk about a metaphor. Ah, there they are. Um, I think the Game Boy Advance Monster Rancher game just used, like, a code. But you could, you know, just randomly enter a code and it would generate off of that code. Are they above me? Yep, there they are. My information with him now? There we go. <laughs> All right. Hi, Siren. supposed to be like this giant plane somewhere. Let's see if I can find it before I take out those last couple of boats. Unless he doesn't appear until I've taken out the boats. Okay, nope. That red is the edge of the theater. Huh. Could have sworn that giant plane was also marked as a mission critical target, too. But yeah, you'll have to come back to uh, to the Milwaukee area at some point. I, I live just north of Milwaukee in Germantown. There we go. <clears throat> Mission accomplished. But I didn't get that giant flying fortress. I'm, I'm kind of unhappy about that. Jewel box. 
Okay, where are we now? Okay, so this is 18 out of 20 or 21. Cool. Almost done. Um, but yeah, the uh, monster that I'm using in my current playthrough was... Uh, uh, the method of its generation was also decided by Twitter poll. Um, I asked what kind of disc to use, and audiobook one. So I generated it from disc one of the audiobook adaptation of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie. And it came up with a, uh, a plant monster. So I, of course, named it Petunia. But I do also have um, uh, Tecmo's Deception on hand, so I can generate a monster from that at some point. Because that gives you a special, unique monster that's extremely powerful. But I'd almost kind of rather have that later on. With support, yes. Um, engage enemy aircraft. See if I can finish it without having to stop and start rec recording again. <laughs> Well, at least the uh, horizon is well lit. Alright, you know what? I've got this in place. Should use this for, ah, for more than one reason here. It's hard to see. But it's also appropriate. Okay, Google. Red alert. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, I can see it a little bit better now. Go. Dang, you're actually getting some good hits on me. Dang. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, to be honest, I haven't played through Ace Combat 2 in a long time. But uh, Ace Combat 4, 5, and 0 on the PlayStation 2, I played the hell out of those. So, 10 to 12 years. Um, and Air Combat was one of the first games I was exposed to on the original PlayStation. So, got a history with this series. 
there is really no other flight sim game that comes close. Which is kind of shown by the fact that no one's even tried. <laughs> I mean, there were a couple of, of um, flight games on, like, the PS3 that were, you know, they tried, but they weren't very good. They weren't very engaging. When I play Ace Combat 3, though, that's going to be the first time I sit down with that for, you know, more than a half an hour or so. So that'll be interesting. But I uh, I am really looking forward to Ace Combat 7. I got the freaking flight stick pre-ordered. I got the game itself pre-ordered. I've got the PSVR ready. Going for the whole experience. It's a great mixture of arcade and realism. Like, they license the use of real-life planes. And each one has its own, uh, you know, handling differences. But they can also carry 60 missiles. Oh, the uh, red lighting or the uh, the game itself? There we go. Oh, I got to do a night landing now? Hopefully the next mission isn't at night. But that's one of the things I love about this game's game series is flying close to the ground, giving my altimeter a heart attack. Major. Cool. Okay. So it looks like this will be decently lit. So... Okay, Google. Condition green. All right. Let's save. 40 minutes since the last stop and restart. Good. I think we're almost done.
fellow pilots, we have my fellow pilots to fight this battle through. With this operation, we will invade the base city of St. Ark and will make a total attack on the enemy's headquarters there. Our last target is their central headquarters located deep within the city. Target, the air facility, the port facility, and their headquarters. There is no question that the enemy will use all well, yes. <clears throat> meh, meh. Okay, what do you got? SU-37, YF-23s, ADATs. Oh, there's Zoe again. Back for more. Definitely with support. Um, engage enemy aircraft. Dang it. There we go. Um, yeah, in later games, uh, well, you can get different weapons. So, not so much upgrading, but outfitting yourself with better secondary weapons, outfitting yourself with better, uh, well, you've got cosmetics and everything, too, so... I don't think any any of them actually had like upgrading the planes. There's just a crap ton of planes. Um I think Ace Combat Infinity actually did have a sort of tech tree now that I think about it. It's sad that I can't even play that single player now. Cause it was all online. Oh, there's Zoe. Oh yeah, totally. There's going to be a big jump from uh, 2 to 3. Uh, they went with a futuristic bent. Like it actually even takes place in 2030 or something like that. But the biggest difference is going to be something that you don't see. <laughs> I'm going to be able to use dual analog when it gets to the PS th PS2 generation. Which means I'm not going to be just flying around using yaw. I'm going to be able to properly yaw and pitch to fly. I don't know if Ace Combat 3 ended up supporting the Dual Shock. I'll find out, I guess. But the biggest thing, one of the biggest things that I love this series for is they're, they've got really good storylines. All right, let's do some hot dogging. There we 
go. Was that you that were trying? You're trying to paint me with a missile. I'll show you the penalty for your insolence. There we go. Uh, let the, no, Francois, let that one go. He has spirit. He may make vice president someday. the show. The draw distance was pretty awful in the PlayStation 1 games, but you deal. <laughs> My target is a freaking tank. Let's take out that YF-23. It's like 11 right now, though. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, fine. Screw you. They keep saying missile approaching dive dive, and I almost never dive to evade a missile. Partially because I'm usually so close to the ground that diving would be a very bad idea. their headquarters dome thing. <laughs> this is one of the few genres that I feel I excel at, actually. Like, I watch some people go through platformers and whatnot, and it's like, I could never do that. But the Ace Combat games on the PS2, I have played through and, um completed on every difficulty level. I guess it just speaks to me. <laughs> I was this close to having you play Aerobiz. Lieutenant Colonel? Zoe General?
Well, it looks like we're going to have to uh, stop and start the recording one more time before we finish the game here.